What's going on, everybody? This tutorial is geared towards the people who have been having connection issues with the um, PDA Net app and client. And I have as well with, uh, you know, you'll be connected. Um, it, it seems to disconnect and have issues a lot more when the proxy settings are set. But even when they're not, you know, you'll have everything rocking and rolling and then your screen will just, you know, stop. You'll go over to your host computer and it'll be disconnected. Like, what, what the fuck happened? It's still on my phone. But anyways, for those that need a high speed, full speed option that is hardwired USB and stable, this is it. Easy Tether Pro. Um, I've been using this for the last couple months due to PDA not, but not being as reliable. I still use it from time to time if I, you know, just have my laptop and my phone with no cables um, to access, you know. But for the most part, whenever I'm by a USB-C to USB-A type cable, I just I just use that and use Easy Tether. So um, hope this helps for those that are having issues. And maybe this will even help people who have been having issues with the carrier compatibility. You know, it, it you'll see later on in the video that, um, you know, on the website it talks about how Easy Tether has been removed from Sprint's Google Play Store. So you have to go right to their website and install it from there. Um, you know, I, you just go into your settings on your phone, check the little box next to install from unknown sources in the security section, and that way you can install APKs from third-party websites such as Easy Tether. So uh, let's get into it. We'll go to the phone, then we'll go to Windows and just kind of lay it all out. All right. All right, so here we are on Android. Now from here we're going to want to go to the Play Store. Now. It all depends on the carrier you have. Uh, after doing some research, I found out that if you've got Sprint or maybe even AT&T, it won't show up. So for those, give it a shot. If you got Verizon, it'll show up like mine. But if not, then you know, skip a little bit ahead and uh, kind of do the vice versa of what we're doing here. But anyways, you go to Easy Tether Pro by Mobile Stream and uh, download that. And once you... Nope. There we go. Go into the Easy Tether app. And if you go to USB Setup Wizard and head up to Windows Setup, go to Next. That's not what I want to do. Go to Open Drivers page. It'll bring up their, uh, their website. You can download the client for whatever operating system you've got. Um, as you can see, they got a shitload of options. I mean, PDA net, you know, as much credit as I give them, they were kind of late. I wouldn't say lazy. I mean, they're still in beta, but you know, they don't have anything for Linux. You're you're pretty much left to making a Wi-Fi direct hotspot and connecting to it. It'll show that you're not connected, and even if you put in the proxy settings accordingly, you most likely won't be able to update. You know, system just apply system updates via that network. You know, it's just very incompatible and as you can see like easy tether's got it down to a fucking t i mean i don't know i just i admire the compatibility that they offer so you just hit whatever you know client you're trying to get for us we're going to do windows it'll download i've already got it but yeah so we're going to plug in the phone to the Windows machine and go from there. We'll also kind of go into how to get the APK from Windows onto Android and then you can install it after you copy. So, I swear to God, this is like the fifth fucking time I've done this take because of the goddamn dog next door barking up a fucking storm. So, if he starts up again, I apologize. I'm not redoing this shit. But, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, first off, head to your file explorer, go to your phone's internal storage, download, and install the Easy Tether EXE. As simple as that. You get the little icon, you connect to USB, easy as that. But let's say you weren't able to get the EXE because you couldn't even get the app from the Play Store. Well, head over to your internet browser on your computer, go to Easy Tether's website. I'll leave a link in the description. And it says even right here. Um, Please note that Sprint has removed Easy Tether from Google Play. For Sprint Tethering, you can get fully functional Easy Tether from our website. That just means they're gonna they allow you to get the APK. Once you click that, you'll get a 
download for a uh, Android application installation. And you just put that on your phone, install it, and then you go over here, get whatever drive you need, Windows, uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Android, or not Android, fucking Mac, anything you need. It's all there. It's all the same. It's all the same speed. Um, yeah, so download your client, install it, and if you run a speed test, see what you get and that's you know pretty goddamn close to what we we're getting on the uh, the app itself so that's about it I mean I've got it set up there are settings that we're you know you could start the client on Windows right when the computer starts up and you just Activate it on your phone. As soon as you plug it in, it connects. See, I'll disconnect and then reconnect. And, you know, disconnect from the internet, then reconnected. So it's as simple as that. And then, you know, if you're trying to get that connection to a router, you just follow the Connectify to the wireless router thing from the other tutorial. Uh, but if you're, say, you're streaming to Twitch or you're doing a video conference and you need that stable internet connection, um, just to be constant, I would, you know, say you're streaming on your computer. I would just plug your phone right into that computer and just leave it plugged in like that. And uh, that that way you're not like taking a chance that it's going to disconnect or you're it's going to fail with your router, Connectify fucks up or something. You know, just have it hardwired. And then you know, if you gotta, if you want to watch some shit on, you know, your streaming device or whatever. Unfortunately, you'll have to keep your phone in whatever room your host computer is and your wireless router is. But that being said, you can always get a client, like a texting client or something to forward your phone calls to a computer near you or a different phone. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of on you to figure out, you know, because my phone's on my lap, but it's also connected to my computer, which is hooked up to my TV. Because I, I got a dock next to me. I also made a custom, like, 10 or 12 foot USB-C cable that actually fast charge. So I, either way, like I can be somewhat far away from my computer, but it's all in one room. I mean, I'm not on different levels. I, I'm in a, an apartment, you know, so it, that's kind of where things get a little tricky, but you know, that all being said, you're saving money on the, uh, the home internet plan. So if there's anything else I can help you guys out with or if if you have any questions, uh, either PM me. I don't know how to do private messages or whatever, but or just leave a comment. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll answer it. Um, oh, yeah, if you got any requests for tutorials, I suppose, just let me know. But, uh, yeah, uh, having surgery on the 4th of August, so I'll be uh, out of commission for a little while. I'm not making many videos. But regardless of that, more videos to come when I heal, when I heal up and all that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.